So this is an unboxing of the Steambucks dev kit. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's like an Ouya dev kit, except it's a quarter of the cost and has a hundred million people using Steam. Uh, it's, I don't think this is the final packaging for it. Uh, it does, even though it does look very official, uh, it is very crumpled. Uh, if you come around to the side over here, uh, you'll see there's a grease stain on the side of the box. Again, this may be the final packaging. I don't know if the retail Steam box will have similar packaging on this. Uh, so if now if we go through, you can see it's, it's very classy paper. If I rip this off, you'll see the Steam box dev kit. I believe this is the final box, but I don't know. It's, uh, it's classic steam black. It has a red trim. It looks like it's made by a place called Thermal Take. I don't know who they are. I ended up having to order this through, uh, the steam box distributor called Newegg. Uh, look them up, newegg.com. On the back here, it has a full array of development ports has a PS2 keyboard port, which you need if you want to make video games. You can't use a USB keyboard if you want to make video games. You need to use the round plug to make video games made. Uh, you can see, compared to the size of my hand, it is rather small. Some of you may not know what difference between Australian hands and normal hands, so I will, uh, I'll get another comparison for you. I'll compare it to an uh, 18-month-old Pembroke Welsh Corgi. She is very interested in the Chirpy Chew. It's a treat. Obviously, your Pembroke Welsh Corgi may be a different size than this uh, this one, but as a general size, guys, you can see it's pretty small. And even though it is a development kit and it's not ready for retail, it does survive being licked by by a dog, which is something that's useful if you have a dog in your development environment. Now the first step to powering on your dev kit is to go through and turn on your television after plugging it in. Obviously you're a developer so you do not need to know how to plug in things. Uh, the TV show that you have on your television when you turn it on isn't really important. I prefer to put on a show similar to how it's made. Here we have factory made. How do they do it is also acceptable. Uh, I have not tried with other shows like uh, Deadly Affairs. Uh, Outback Hunters, I'm not sure if this works for Australian dev kits. I'm currently in America, so I can't test this out. I do know it works with Man vs. Food, though. But really, any any television show that your TV is on when it starts is perfectly fine for using the dev kit. Second step is to switch it to your dev the TV to your dev kit. Uh, I believe this is development. It shows the manufacturer, which is Foxconn, which makes sense as they also make iPhones and Xboxes. It does appear to be running a standard version of Windows, though. I can't confirm if this is Windows 7 or not. But it is probably going to not show this for the full version of the Steam box. This is probably something that will only be for developers as it is currently unreleased. As you can see, it still looks a lot like Windows. It's welcomed me to the console. And now it is showing me the, the Steam box big picture view of, of games. I can do many things from this view. I can look at games I have purchased. I can see friends of mine who are on Steam. Not all of them are on de uh, developers, which I find is weird for a development console. It can show me games that I could make on the Steam box. I, I've never heard of these games. Uh, I'm not sure what a scrim is. I'm, I, I, clearly it's a new console. I, not many people know these IPs. Because it's the first time I've turned this on, I have received a new gift from Valve, which is, I feel like that is nice of them to improve the out-of-box experience. Uh, this is one of those six games that is available at launch for the Steam Dev Box. Uh, 
I don't know if they've got messages working because this is very clearly an incomplete message, but it is from Julius Blaze. I don't know if this is someone who works at Valve or if this maybe is Valve's character for this, for the Steam Box, much like the robot from the Xbox launch or any other famous characters from console launches. Uh, it also allows me to access settings. All of these are very important for making video games, but also for playing them. I can sign into my Steam account. Uh, it will tell me if I have a controller plugged in, which is very handy because often I forget if I'm using a controller or not. Uh, it will also allow me to talk with other people. Uh, this is in development, obviously, as it requires a keyboard, and I, this is a Steam box. So I don't know why I would ever have a keyboard plugged into this. Uh, there are lots of important features about friends and a web browser and stuff, but obviously you don't care about any of that. Uh, obviously the reason people are interested in the Steambox development kit is because they want to see how powerful it is. Uh, clearly the best test for this would be uh, a game I found on the store called Super Hexagon. Uh, it's clearly a test of this system's abilities. It shows me a lot of information about this game, but let's just jump into it and play it. I believe this might be a OpenGL or Direct3D game, so this is really going to be a great test of the system's power. Uh, it seems to be running at a pretty good frame rate, as well as black and white. It also... Oh, I can hit the guide button. It'll show me various things, but as, as well as black and white, uh, I believe it shows things in color, which is really nice. Shows, I believe, all of the colors, which is incredible. Um, as you can see, a great frame rate. Polygons are on the screen. Uh, I'm not sure if these are blast processed or not, but it wouldn't surprise me. Um, clearly a very complex scene. Lots of shaders. I'm not, I don't know if there is self-shadowing or not. I, I have not had enough time to check this, as this is the first time I am, I am playing this game. Uh... Seems to be very buggy, uh, only getting up to 10 seconds of gameplay before it quits. But again, this is a development version. Uh, if hopefully in the final release you'll be able to play the game for more than, more than 10 seconds at a time. But I, I'm willing to forgive Valve, the developers of Super Hexagon, because of this. Uh, there's also a web browser, which I believe is helpful because it's very hard to find a device that will let you browse the web. And so including a web browser in the Steam box is really going to be great for bringing the internet to people around the world. I'm going to go to a site called YouTube.com. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought this was a family-friendly website. Apparently it isn't. This is my first time on YouTube. Uh, there are some things that are family-appropriate on here. This is a site that plays videos, uh, I believe. Let's look at Puppy's First Christmas. Uh, I believe this is a video of a puppy. It looks like, as this is a development console, we can't play video on it yet, but I believe if you could play video, it would play very well. Uh, it appears there's also comments on here. Uh, 1672 dislikes nice try cats. Uh, appears someone is saying that cats hate this video. Uh, I had to go out and kill a bear with my own hands to get my manliness back, dot, dot, dot. And clearly this is a, a great social community. I'm sure it's going to be, uh, much like, uh, much like the Wii U, I'm sure it's going to provide lots of great community building around high quality content. So that's the Steambox development kit. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you more insight into this great console that Valve Software in Washington is creating. Thank you.